here's a few little pointers on the hats pedal. This is your hats pedal as I have it here in my studio. So we'll talk about this in just a second. Let's talk about the main components. You have your um, top clutch, which is holding this symbol, and it is on a piston going up and down that is mounted to the underside of the pedal. So I am now in a free mode going up and down, and that is because there's not much piston showing here. Yours should have that same look based on the idea that you loosen that up and you push down on your pedal, maybe not all the way down because you wanna be able to collapse your pedals a little bit. So I'm pushing all the way down and then I'm gonna come back up just a little bit and then I would tighten that up. So when I go down, I can go really tight on my pedals and go loose. Obviously as a style, you can play it differently as well by maybe having it down, but it's still a little bit loose so that when you hit it with your pedal, got kind of a chunkier sound. I wasn't doing that with, but more with my elbow, so it wasn't very musical. But the other thing to consider was the bottom clutch. Now this bottom clutch is on the underside, so I'm gonna push it all the way down the pedal, and you see the piston coming down through the, the, the hole there. Now, when you're in a stow mode, you would push your pedal down and then tighten that so that your pedal is closed and push down through the height of the drum there, and that'll keep it from clanking around. So when you're done with a performance, you undo, or when you start a performance, you take it out about four or five turns, and don't forget it. Maybe it will come undone on a long performance or you sit at home for a while playing it, um, and now you're, you're half open as you want it. Again, you have your two clutches, your top and your bottom, and they both influence how that goes. If your bottom clutch has the threads going through, then your piston will get stuck on top of the bolts going through the clutch. So you wanna make sure that that is out before you go all the way down. Again, I can't push this down either. Loosen that up, push it down, tighten it up again, and you have that. The drop clutch. This is a feature that allows you to play, 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 drop. And that means, oh, I'm gonna drop it even more. I need to adjust this so it it rotates even more than I thought it would. So I'm gonna bring it out, and now I'm gonna drop it. And now my hats are just kind of clanging together, but it's an open sound, so it's kind of a different sound. And if you wanna pop them back up, you just push it open with your toe, and you're open to a open hat. Now the sizzles is just kind of a bonus. It was just like a, a little add-on that allows the chain to add a little bit of a sizzle. It's just looped around this little part here. One bead goes in one side and the other bead comes out the other and it went, or actually goes through and connects to your drum. If you don't like it, you can just um, unsnap it from the underside um, bean right there that kind of connects everything and you don't have to worry about it. But you're right, it can kind of get up under the pedal and be kind of annoying or you can place it up here and under the magnet so it's on the underside of your drum and out of the way. Again, maybe during uh, moving or stowing, it's gonna change, but now you have clarity of what you're trying to do. Again, this just drops the clutch, and that lifts it open. You got your top hi-hat clutch, in this case, pretty darn close to near the top. If I wanted to top that out, I could. Now I can't close them because they're just so far open, which stylistically might be work in your favor for some reason. I have no idea. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Um, there's probably a few more videos I need to make for this product because we keep updating and changing and revising and improving. If there's any other feedback you want to give me, feel free to give me an email back on this. Hope this video works. Okay, bye.